Amid student loan stress and rising costs, some students are choosing trade schools over four-year universities, like our American hero, Antonio Davis. He found his calling at Chattahoochee Valley Community College welding program in Alabama. Davis currently holds a 4.0 GPA, but before excelling with his tools, believe it or not, he was homeless. And Antonio is joining us now live from Phoenix City, Alabama, right across the river from Columbus, Georgia. Good morning, Antonio. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, sir. How are you doing today? I am doing great. Uh, I am just proud to be speaking with you, sir. How, tell me, take me back to becoming homeless. How did it start so poorly? Um, basically, my mom was dealing with uh, mental health issues, and she was uh, facing so many avenues with that. And, this, and that's how we were able to come, um, come homeless. It just took a toll on her, and just um, that's really how we became homeless. And it is so hard to start from there and to accomplish anything. It's very impressive that you've turned it around. How were you able to turn it around? What's the first way that you were able to say, hey, I don't have to be homeless all my life. I don't have to live like this. I can still get some sort of an education despite this situation that we're in. Um, I was just able to just stay strong in faith with God. You know, that's that's really, you know, who, what, what kept me and just uh, kept my peace it was just through God. And also all my family, church members and all them, they really had kept me a lot through all the avenues I was facing. So that really encouraged me to know that even though through all the avenues, I'm still able to hold strong and know that I'm capable of succeeding and doing well in life just through through God and just... But you had to have been continuing to go to school in order to get to community college while you were homeless. Is that right? Yes, sir. I did. I actually had I was actually doing track and going through school uh, and also doing school as well. So it was very hard, but I was able to maintain just kept a positive attitude knowing that uh, throughout that I was going through, I was going to I'm, I'm, I was going to make it. I just kept the faith. Well, and right now you are making it. You are doing so well in this welding program. I understand you have an internship right now where you can help your mom out and get some experience in the same time. Is that right? Yes, sir. Right now, um, I, I, I'm, I was able to help her out and everything through the apprenticeship I got. And also, I was able to just uh, get hands-on work, you know, through welding, which I, re what I, which I really do love a lot. So that really helped me out a lot through, with my mom as well. So she inspired you to sort of get on this track and do, and do better. Uh, I imagine you're inspiring her now. How proud of you is she that you are doing this? She is just overly joy and just very proud of the, the young man I've become. And just, she didn't think, you know, we, she didn't think we both would have made it through all the obstacles we went through. But by, by God, we was able to make it. And I just thank overly, I just thank her and just always keep a smile and just, um, just always try to be there for my mom. It's all right, and time. less than 10 seconds, like a two word answer here. Do you have a job set up after college or are you close? Yes, sir. I am. Um, I was, I'm going to go into. Uh, uh, I'm going to go into trade. Uh, not well, but uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I want to go into traveling welding. That's what I was going to do. All right, Antonio Davis. Thank you very much, and congratulations on your success. Our second hour of Morning in America starts right now. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.